Folks, Woody's Rock Shop and Fabulous Kilgrick Geode site. We got a kind of a test hole we dug. This is from that new test hole we dug. This is not the honey hole. This is a nice light geode. We looked at breaking it what we call the long way, and the geode's too thin in a couple spots. We're going to break it what we call the short way. For those of you going to ask, this is the cast iron pipe cutter. I'm Steve Wood of Woody's Rock Shop. This is a fabulous Kilgug geode site find. Okay. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh man! Okay, we're gonna film this. This is worth stopping everything for the rest of the day. I'll take the camera, please. That is what all the back breaking, jackhammering, digging, moving's all about. So we've got a couple different clear calcites. We've got pink dog tooth. We've got brown dog tooth. We've got some pseudomorph and pseudocube calcites that are unreal. Man, I hope this. I'm I'm speechless. I can't. Eat, I need to just shut up. Whew. Wow, this is truly museum quality. God has been so good to us on this property. It's been unreal, the stuff we've dug up here lately. This is about as rare as rare as rare can get, and then some. This is a fabulous Kilka geode site find in St. Francisville, Missouri. Guys, some of the stuff you're seeing on there is just, the formation's like, are just crazy. I mean, that, that thing right there is just absolutely anomaly. I'm gonna come up over to this other one. Try to get the glass in behind it. That little critter right there is just gnarly as gnarly can get. This is a nice deep geode. The depth on each side is extremely deep. Nice tall geode. I'm really kind of glad we didn't break it the long way anyways because we would have broke through all that. We get a lot of people say, why don't you cut your geodes? Well, we would have cut off a lot of this stuff. The chain usually will break around it. Looks to me like we only got one break and even if we cut it, it would have been, it would have been cut off. But Saw does for us a lot more damage. Man, some of this stuff is just such an anomaly. Unreal. This is definitely museum grade, holy grail. This is what most of us Kilka Geode collectors look for, drool over, have dreams about. This is the third one we've opened up in the last month, this quality. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, guys. This is a once in a lifetime find, actually. I mean, this is bizarre. I can't wait till we rinse it out and clean it up for you a little bit better. All right, guys, so we're back from power washing it. It had bled out, apparently, so there's a lot of residue and stuff in there. We just wanted to get it cleaned up a little bit better. Zoom back out here a little bit. I want to focus in on this nice brown calcite spot right there. A little pyrite on the pink dog tooth. That beautiful clear and white calcite in the middle. I'd say that's about the size of a golf ball. Nice little brown calcite right there. These are not fluorites. The rarity of that section right there just is just such an anomaly. 
That's side one. Literally got the kitchen sink in that. Three different colors of calcite. There's another white and clear calcite. But the golf ball size one overrides right there. It's almost easy to forget it's there. On this side, we've got pink calcite and two peach. These two are definitely peach. These are definitely pink. Got another beautiful brown calcite section there. Then we got this little nice critter right here. Some clears on the browns. Definitely got multiple points and triangles on it. Then we come into this one over here. Amazing calcite. Razor sharp point off the back of that. Now guys, this is Woody's Rock Shop, the fabulous Kilcook Geode site. I want to thank you all for looking. Rock on.